Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Ann Monero. Welcome to another live color along. Today is Monday, February 10th, and we're coloring a page. We're still working on volume 13, color along book volume 13. We're coloring a page from color along volume 13, and we are coloring with watercolor brush pens. So I've got these uh, new tech innovation watercolor brush pens with me this morning. They're completely blendable, and we're going to color in the um, kind of tie dye. Uh, technique. So if you are a child of the 60s or you are a wannabe child of the 60s and you wish that you were kind of tie-dye or maybe you're a child, you're just kind of in uh, the present day 20th century, 21st century and you really just love tie-dye, then uh, we're just going to kind of make it look like tie-dye. So we're going to use some uh, watercolor brush pens, a little bit of water and a paintbrush to kind of blend these all together. So we're going to just give it a couple of minutes for everyone to get here before we get started. And uh, in the meantime, let's say good morning to uh, everyone that is here this morning. So good morning to Sharon. Hey, Alexandria. Good morning, Kerry. Uh, who else is here with this morning? Alice has joined us this morning. I know there was a few more people. Oh, Cheryl's here this morning. Good morning, Cheryl. All right. So I have a couple of different announcements. Um, I've reopened my YouTube channel. I had closed it down um, or deleted a bunch of stuff from my YouTube channel back in December um, just to kind of comply with some uh, YouTube uh, channel guidelines that were going on with uh, child safety, child protection laws. So my YouTube channel is officially now opened up again and I will be adding uh, color coloring book flip throughs. Um, at this point, I will not be going live on YouTube. I'll be staying live uh, strictly on Facebook at this point. So, so the key to having uh, more live streams on YouTube is to have enough subscribers on my YouTube channel. So if you are uh, following me on YouTube, or if you'd like to follow me on YouTube, there's a link here um, that I just posted. So you can go ahead and do that. Um, what else do I want to tell you? There was something else I want to tell you. Oh, I now officially have a uh, Amazon influencer page on Amazon. Uh, so I have products. Let me see if I can get my um, my link for you. I have products listed on Amazon in a storefront that uh, you can purchase my favorite products. So when I'm using something, um, full disclosure, I earn uh, a percentage of the sale. So if you'd like to take a look at my uh, Amazon influencer page and it will, it's, it's filled with different products that I use, my favorite stuff, divided up into categories, more, inf more products will be added over the coming weeks. Uh, so it's not completely filled at all. So if you see something that I'm using, um, there'll be a, a link, that product will be listed in my Amazon storefront. So you can go ahead and purchase it right through there. Uh, let's see, I'm just putting the link here for the Amazon Influencer page. And we're going to get started. So, kind of an icky Monday, right? Rainy, snowy. Hey, Pam's joined us this morning. Pam, I saw that you had a lot of snow. Um, kind of an icky, dreary day. I'm hoping the sun's going to poke through. How about you guys? So we've got Color Along Volume 13, and we've done a lot in this book so far. We are almost done, actually. Um, we are working on this page here. We've got um, a couple of, of Color Alongs that are here on the schedule. Uh, we've got this one scheduled for March 23rd, which is the letter O, and this Pop Art one, which was supposed to be scheduled for last Monday. I had to reschedule that. That was the day after uh, coloring camp, and I needed to uh, reschedule that for some personal reasons. But uh, today we're back in the flow back in the saddle here and we are moving along with our tie-dye color along and then really after this we only have five more color alongs that are happening um and then well and these two so we have seven but the next book is color along volume 14 and color along volume 14 let me just take a look at the calendar because i don't want to have to remember every single thing in my head uh color along volume 14 begins on april 6th and um the book is available on Amazon and it's available on um, on my website as a PDF. Color alongs, a few I had mentioned and talked about over the past couple of weeks. I don't know if um, 
the people that had, hey, Alice, hey, Sandra, I don't know if the people that had asked this question are, st are here with us this morning, but uh, there was some talk about whether or not color alongs would be moved to a private group. And the answer is color alongs will remain as they are. So color alongs will remain completely free to watch. And if you have a book, then you can, if you want to color the page I'm coloring, then you would be, then you would be on, um, you would just need to purchase the book. I'm getting distracted here because someone is asking me uh, where the video is. So the video is always here, right, on, right here on my Facebook page. Okay, let's make sure we, find, we get Jean in the right place, direct her over here. I don't know if she can, we can get her over here. I don't think we can, okay. Hopefully Jean Mellinger will find her way. All right, so uh, Rolling Stones Gathered Your Moss. This is from uh, my book called Get Cold Feet. And um, these are all crazy sayings that my dad used to say. And um, this, uh, this book is actually kind of dear to my heart because it's all crazy things, corny, corny things that my dad used to say. My dad sa sadly passed away before I even started coloring books. So my dad has ne had never seen, was never able to... Um, to see any coloring books that I had at all. And um, so so when I talk about this book, Get Cold Feet, it's just all these crazy sayings like uh, double-edged sword and uh, best things in sliced bread. You know, the corny little things that people say uh, and you, when you're a kid and you think, what the heck are they saying? That is like the corniest thing ever. So uh, when I came up with these uh, quotes on these little sayings to put in this book, I, um, my mom had a big role, big played a big role in coming up with all of these. I actually remember the day I did this book. Um, I remember the day I did, did this book, and it's kind of funny. I um, was waiting for Fios to come to my house to install something. I guess we were just getting maybe Verizon Fios at the time. And the guy was late, and we were just like, when the heck is he going to be here? This is taking forever, forever, forever. And um, I grabbed a clipboard and we started uh, kind of brainstorming and putting this book together. So that's how that happened. And I'll, I think I have a copy of it. Let me just take a look. Sometimes I don't have a copy of every single book um, for whatever reason. But I don't know if I have a copy of this book, Get Cold Feet. You can see a flip through of this book. I don't know where it is. I'll have to ask my assistants, uh, Paisley and Scarlett, to take care of this for me. Um, all right, let me just see if I can get this arranged here. not cooperating with me. Okay, too many messages popping up. So I just got a message again, too many, a uh, couple of messages. Good morning, John, Mary Hannah, Jean has found us. Hello, Billy Joe. Uh, a couple of people have been sending me messages about the Amazon storefront, the Amazon Influ Influencer account. Hey, you know what? Um, the Amazon Influencer account um, is hard to get. You have to apply. And you have to um, get accepted. And in order to get accepted, <coughs> you have to have enough followers on uh, social media between Instagram, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, I think there might have been a couple other uh, sections. And you have to basically get accepted to do it based on the number of followers. So big shout out and big thank you to everyone that follows me on social media. Because if um, if I didn't have this type, the, the number of people on here, I would not have been approved for it. So that is really, really exciting. So it's extremely exciting. Of course, I told the dogs about it. They were the first ones to know about it, first ones to hear about it. Um, 
and then we moved on from there. So anyway, let's start coloring, shall we? So the first thing I'm going to do, I've got these brush markers and these new tech brush pens, uh, some brush markers have just a felt tip and it's solid and some have it look like an actual paintbrush. And this one has it so it looks like an actual paintbrush. And what that allows you to do, it allows you to actually kind of use it as you would a regular paintbrush. So what I'm going to do is col color in my letters with kind of a solid color, but I'm going to take advantage, according to Paisley, she hates this, I'm going to take advantage of the actual paintbrush and the bristles on the brush and allow it to give me sort of a texture that's on there. Hello, Miss Melody. I know a long time, huh, huh, Alexandra? Has it been? I haven't been live for a live coloring long in a couple of weeks. Well, we had coloring camp a couple of weeks ago. Um, and then last Monday, I canceled it for some personal reasons. And then now we're back again today. So we're back in the swing of things. And then um, the drawer alongs have, de have moved over to a private group, though, on Wednesday. So... The only way you can watch a draw along is if you have the actual book. So I'm just kind of coloring in with these letters and see how I'm kind of creating that texture. Now, if I add water to that, it will actually kind of act as watercolor paint. Um, but I'm going to leave this one, in this particular one, with a solid color. And then I am going to, we're going to add some different colors. So I used, to, I loved tie dye shirt. I don't know about you guys. Um, so much fun wrap it up in elastic bands um maybe i'm just kind of like a a wannabe hippie i don't know do we have any hippies with us today hey melody melody's getting ready to go babysit that little girl needs to start coloring my friend doesn't she i think she needs to start she needs a crayon we need to get that kid some paint some coloring pages you know i actually have um you know, I have something that I think I want to send her. Do you think she could hold a crayon, Melody? She looks like she's old enough to hold a crayon. Why not? One, go for it. You want to see little kids color. I don't know. Is Marianne watching us today? I don't know if she's watching us or not. But you want to see little kids color. Uh, take, a, take a look at Marianne Mander's uh, Facebook page. Her grandchildren are always coloring, always... Um, always got them doing some sort of art project hey colleen colleen i mentioned earlier before you got here i'm going to make sure that i I'm, i want to make sure that i mention it again today uh or while you're that i now that i see you um i am going we talked about remember we talked about whether or not color alongs would remain uh the way they are or if they would move into a private group and they are going to remain exactly the way they are they will not be removed moving into a private group um and the decision was made uh over the past few days uh, to do that. So they will be remaining as, uh, as they are. So, uh, the next color along book is a color along volume 14 and, um, it will be, uh, starting on April 6th. So I'm just kind of moving this, this yellow into here. I'm just going to go every other and move to the back kind of reminds me of an eyeball doesn't it did you guys see my new book called creative uh creativity boredom busters we uh we we worked on two pages from that book at camp and one of them was to uh color 100 colors 100 color challenge and we had fun doing that um the other one was a 49 patterns challenge where we uh created 49 different patterns so creativity boredom busters is filled with 30 different pages and i have one of the pages that i've been working on um Hey, Barb. Lynn says, not a hippie, but I have a few tie-dyed shirts. I'm surprised you're not a hippie, Lynn. I wish I was. If I was, I feel like I should have been born in the hippie days. Yeah, she's not a, got a color. That's for sure, Melody. So this is one of the pages from Creativity Boredom Busters. This is called Draw the Alphabet. And I just ordered this book yesterday, so hopefully I'll have it by the end of the week. And um, each box is ready to, is, is waiting for you to draw something that begins with that letter. So we've got cat for C, D, dog for D, eyeglasses for E, fish is for F, and it just goes on and on. So that's um, one of the pages that I started working on of, for Draw the Alphabet. The other page that I started working on, or that I finished actually, that's in this book, 
is called 20 stick people and you fill each square uh, with a stick person in a new pose. So uh, 20 different stick people. Of course, I added a stick dog. Why not? And then uh, this is another page that's in the book called 16 Patterns with Lines. And you fill each square with a pattern created with only straight lines. So they could be zigzag, but they have to be straight. They can't be curly. They have to just be straight lines. That's the key to that. And then here's another one that's kind of in the works of my work in progress is 44 funny words. And some of them have some things that you draw. Some of them have other ways to be creative by creating uh, maybe a list of 44 funny words. There's another page that's, uh, you write down a bunch of nice words. Um, there's another page in the book where you write your name in different ways. Remember when you were like in the eighth grade and you kept writing your name on your notebook. Um, so 44 funny words that are funny to you, that you think are funny. So not necessarily a completely funny word, but maybe you think the word stitches is funny. To me, that's kind of funny. The word hilarious is funny. I don't know. If someone says something is hilarious, I actually think that it's more, the word, the, just the word alone is hilarious. I don't know. So that's uh, my, my new, new book, Creativity Boredom Busters. So take a look at that on Amazon. All right, so where are we at here? Let's see, we're at this one right here. So I'm just kind of giving this some background color here. Scarlett and Paisley have a section on my uh, Amazon influencer page, actually. <laughs> I thought it would be kind of funny to do it. But um, everything's divided up into categories. You can take a look at markers and gel pens and coloring supplies and drawing supplies. And there's even a section for coloring camp. Um, and there's going to be a lot more products added to it. But Scarlett and Paisley also have kind of a their faves, some dog biscuits, some toys, uh, that type of thing going on for them. Good morning, Bonnie Miller. Hey, good morning, Mamie. So I'm going to grab um, a little bit of pink. And let's move on to the S. Rolling stones gather no moss. It's kind of a funky saying, isn't it? <coughs> to me, this means if you sit still... You got to keep yourself moving, right? You know, you got to kind of move around all the time, get the blood flowing, get the circulation flowing. It's funny because um, sometimes I find myself getting up in the middle of the night and feeling maybe a little achy. And I find myself doing stretches at like 2 a.m. It's like, what am I doing? I need to go back to sleep. It's crazy. But you got to keep moving. What do you guys think? You know, rolling stones gather no moss. So a stone that just keeps sits, I mean, the literal, tr literal translation, a stone that just sits there is going to kind of have moss growing on it. But if you keep it moving, moss will not grow. So there's my, uh, my letter, my word with the uh, word stones. And now we've got to move on to the purple. Hey, Naomi, how do we get to your page on Amazon, Alice is asking. Um, it's funny you should ask that question. Let me get the link for you. Uh, you can head over to this link here. I'm going to put a little uh, little thing here. can't believe how many messages I'm getting this morning. Um, not only from personal friends who I think just don't even pay attention to whatever the heck I'm doing, um, but uh, people that I'm friends that I'm friends with on social media, I just can't even believe the attention it's getting. So there it is, Alice. There's the link. It's official. I now have an Amazon influencer storefront. Um, I was very excited about this this morning when it finally got approved. Um, I've been waiting for like a week for it to get approved. Um, and have been adding products to it, assuming that I would. And then finally the other day, I thought to myself, I shouldn't really be spending any more time on this, just in case it doesn't. But, you know, when you say, um, what's that say? It's saying, build it and they will come. You know, you build something up, you build something and you wait for it to... Is that... Does anybody understand? Don't even know what that... We know what I'm talking about, Alice. Lynn, do you know what I'm talking about? Lynn usually understands what I'm saying. I don't know if that's good or bad, Lynn. What do you think? Yeah. 
So there's a lot of uh, favorite products in there that I use for coloring. There's that uh, infamous uh, Bostitch pencil sharpener. There's a link to that. Everything's divided up in categories. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's something else that you like and I can add it to the store. Why not? I could have another category that's called uh, my my friend's favorite things and then we can put that there also. Um, maybe you have a certain product that you really, really love. And it really can be anything. I mean, I mean I'm not going to put things like, uh, you know, my favorite toilet paper or something like that. But you really can put any, I could really put anything. I'm keeping it art inspired. And of course, Scarlett and Paisley will have their, their little section going on. All right, so now I swear, I think we need to introduce my friend Orange to the word no. Every time I hear this word no. I think of, uh, what's her name? Megan Trainer. that song she has. Did anyone watch the Oscars last night? I watched part of it and uh, fell asleep. I can't watch TV till 11 or 12 o'clock. I just can't make it. I don't know. Or give me something to watch and that I really want to watch and poof, I will go, um, I'll go right to sleep. How about you? Naomi, you're right. If we build it, they will come. I think that is a saying you were thinking of. Yes, that is a saying I am thinking of. If you build it, they, you will, they will come. In other words, set it up ahead of time and then just kind of watch everyone get there. Watch it happen. Some people don't believe that that ever is possible. Let's do moss and green. Why not? Mary says, from the movie Field of Dreams, I say, feed them and they will come. Yes, it's another good one. There's a saying by, uh, is it Rumi? Out beyond a field of, um... oh, wait a minute. Now I can't even think of it because I'm live. It's like a, a it's like live brain fog, I swear. Now I can't even think of it. I have to find it. Out behind. Oh, that thee would bless me indeed. And enlarge my territory. Something like that. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? It's a roomy quote. Or out behind a field. Something. Roomy. I'm telling you. It's it's called uh, live video brain fog. I want to know if it anybody, happens to anybody else. Uh, hey, Diana. So here is our green once again, because we're working on the word moss, or some people say moss. I say moss. Kind of like it's got M-A-W-S, right? Moss. All right, so there's my green. And I'm going to add a little bit more... Um, maybe some dark green in this to kind of make it look like um, almost like a camouflage type thing. I don't know. I've got camouflage on the mind. I just finished a custom t-shirt for uh, someone in the coloring community, actually. Um, I don't want to say her name because I don't know if she wants me to make it public, but and it, we, we did sort of a, a little bit of a camouflage look to kind of celebrate, uh, celebrate her being a veteran. So, um, so that was exciting. Naomi said, Naomi is saying, what about white charcoal pencils? I really love how they work with charcoal. I know I've got to add those to the, and will, and will we be doing stick pastels or oil pastels as far as the draw alongs? I will definitely be getting draw along volume two. Draw along volume two, um, where is my schedule? You want to see what's in it? Let me see. Draw along volume two is going to start on May 6th. I toyed with the idea of it starting it immediately after Draw Along Volume 1 was done and decided that um, I would uh, move it right to May 6th. So there's a couple of dates in here that are not happening because summer camp falls somewhere in, in the midst of July. Um, but this starts on May 6th, goes all the way to July 29th. So um, you can, um, this book is available on... Um, Amazon and it's available on my website as both a hard copy and a PDF. But here's some of the topics that are happening with Draw Along Volume 2. Um, we're starting out with basic boxes. You know, um, I I struggled with the, with the decision to make to add that to this, but 
Um, a lot of people have a hard time drawing a cube, so we're going to tackle that with these basic boxes. And then we've got a fruit still life, which is kind of charcoal um, uh, drawing. We're working. We're going to work on these candles, which is with line art, and then we've got a mandala happening using a template. Um, and then we're going to be working on this still life drawing using a grid. A lot of times, we've never done this before. I don't think we've done this during uh, camp or anything, but uh, we use a grid and we transfer what is here to there. So it's similar to the Finish It Mandalas, but it's the whole drawing. And then again, back to still life with charcoal, or we could use stick pastels like Naomi is talking about. Um, and then we're going to move on to another line drawing with tulips because Colleen had asked for tulips. And then we're going to be working on this one that's from Imagination um, Workout. Yeah, that's just the first one. So the replays will always be available, Naomi. Um, Wednesday, the, the June 24th is Imagination Workout. And it's a page from my Imagination Workout page where it's just different prompts. So maybe there's a line and then you continue on. Line drawing here for the uh, next one, Back to a Mandala on July 8th. Back to Still Life uh, drawing. And then the last one is a photograph that we're going to be working on um, of a carton of eggs. So that's kind of, a, that's probably the hardest one out of the whole book. But um, they'll be in a private group like Draw Along One is happening. And then if you purchase the book and you want someone else to watch it off of Facebook, we have the ability to do that also on my website. Um, but such a great uh, turnout, great reaction, and great participation um, from everyone, and that's why they've it was moved to a private group. Plus, we have other information that I'm putting in the private group. Like, I put some information about uh, different pencils. Um, I think it's working out really well. We put a drawing exercise of that elephant um, that a lot of people tackle. That was kind of fun. Colleen says, I wanted to watch the Oscars last night, but I was too tired and didn't have the energy to watch. I know, me too. I watched part of it. I'm going to have to YouTube it and watch. Really, I'm only paying... I don't... First of all, I don't know any movies that were on there. So how boring am I? Am I? And um, I really wanted to listen to the music. I want to listen to um, our friend Elton John. That's who I was really kind of looking forward to. I'll just have to YouTube it. All right. So now I'm going to add a little bit of this lighter orange. See where the little tiny white spots are? Right in there. And I'm basically just kind of using some tie-dye colors on my letters and then the background is what we're really going to uh, kind of give it the illusion or the look of uh, tie-dye so there's kind of a little bit of um that color there but if you take a look also let's add um some yellow into the moss section if i add some yellow here on top of the brush markers it's giving the illusion right there of that tie-dye look so just how I'm adding the colors on top of one another, isn't it? That's There's my tie-dye, the illusion of tie-dye, or the tie-dye effect. Hey, Bonnie. And will there be a list of implements we will need for draw-alongs and color-alongs somewhere so that we can have them we needed for each session? Yes, I'm going to be adding them into that group, and I'll be adding the links from my Amazon influencer uh, storefront. Part of the reason why I did that. That makes sense? There's a couple of things right now in that page that have, um, like, there's a section for draw alongs or drawing supplies, and it has some stuff in there. But I think that pretty much whatever people have, have had so far is really what we're sticking with. Um, pencil, uh, pen, um, charcoal pencils, drawing pencils. I'm not really doing anything different than we did before. So if you have that... Uh, one of those sets that have kind of like a combination of different side, different drawing pencils. That is perfect for it. Lynn Miller says, I did not watch the Oscars. Only saw a couple of the films, finished watching The Pharmacist on Netflix, then what about Meow Influencers also on Netflix. Hey, good morning, Dawn. Dawn, you forgot. Well, Dawn, I saw your video from uh, your evening, last night's episode in your house with your dogs, and I would have forgotten too. <laughs> It cracked me up, actually. You know what cracked me up the most, Dawn, is uh, Rumor standing... Was it Rumor standing there barking? Like the dog police? Is Rumor a boy or a girl? I should know this, right? I think she's a girl. Um, it reminds me of Paisley. Paisley would do that. Paisley would bark like she's in charge. Like dog police. Maybe they need badges.
Mary says, glad to see Renee Z. Zellworker, Zell right? Uh, one for Judy, although though Brad Pitt was gracious and humble. Yeah, I don't really, uh, I don't, I haven't seen any of them. I mean, sort of like the Irishman on, uh, was that on Netflix or Amazon Prime, maybe? Something like that. But, you know, people forget that the Oscars, right, that's voted on by the people that are part of the Academy, not people. Dawn says it was crazy with the puppy. And, yes, Rumor was the Krabby Pants and she's a girl. Yeah, Rumor cracked me up. Rumor was like the police standing there saying, uh, Stop running! Stop running! Yeah, this is probably Rachel from Car Services. Or that man that keeps calling me from, um... Uh, Microsoft Windows, who started swearing his head off at me the other day. I got two phone calls like that. All right, so here is just kind of that look. See how kind of funky that looks? Maybe I'll add a little bit of blue. Um, kind of a light blue into this one. Just kind of a light, kind of a, not really a lot of it, but see how it's just kind of filling into all of where the white spot is? Just into that section right there. There we go. I don't know why my dogs are so quiet right now. It's kind of scary, isn't it? I gotta turn my head and see what the heck is going on. Colleen says, yes, The Irishman is on Netflix. Happens to, is a three hour long movie. I never finished it. You know that? I wasn't really crazy about it. It was okay. I don't know what the big hoopla was about it. Am I missing something? Diana says, my pack has a Bach police that happens to be a 10 pound chihuahua. <laughs> she rules. Yeah, Scarlett is like the Mrs. Kravitz of, the, of my house. I had to explain to her the other day who Mrs. Kravitz actually was. And then I realized that I was explaining this to a dog. Do you ever find yourself thinking that, saying that, or find yourself talking to your pets, and then you say to yourself, I am explaining this to the cat. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of orange to this. You got to give them their exciting, get it, like, fill them in on the exciting, the scoop, right? The exciting news. Like, yesterday, I was driving down the street, and all of a sudden, this golden retriever walked across in front of my car. Just out of the blue, loose. I'm always finding a lost dog. And to the point where when I see a dog that's lost out there, I actually say, another one? Now what? And it's like they all walk in front of me. So... I waited, I got out of the car, and it turned out that he had gotten loose from the house that was across the street. But when I got home, I had to tell Scarlett and Paisley immediately when I walked in the door and said, guess what happened? I found a golden retriever. Stressful when you find a lost dog. You do the same thing, Melody? See, I know. Melody does, I get it. I'm assuming that Bonnie's talking about the Irishman and not my page that I'm coloring, but no, I didn't. I guess I'm going to have to watch it. Maybe I just didn't want to commit to the three hours. That's a long time, isn't it, Colleen? Colleen's with me on this. Too long, right? All right, so there is my orange, our friend orange. Now, for this rolling word, I'm going to add some lime green just to on top, just on top of it. And it's kind of creating that tie-dye look, isn't it? Need to tie-dye some stuff. How about batik? Has anyone ever done batik? Batik is when you take a piece of fabric and you use wax. You look like a melted candle, this particular batik wax, but you can use, use a, like a white candle. And you kind of create a design with the actual wax. 
and then you dye it and then wherever the wax is it does not take the dye so it's kind of a resist and then it creates its own different design but i haven't done batik in a very very long time now i want to Dawn says, the puppy belongs to my youngest daughter, and she has the big brown long hair dog, Missy. And Missy was also policing Olivia. And I saw that, actually. So funny. What's the puppy's name? The puppy's adorable. That puppy looked like it was having, like, the time of its life. Like, this is so exciting with these big dogs. It kind of gave me puppy fever, and then I decided not so much. <laughs> I, my, I Sometimes I get puppy fever, and then I say... I either have a dog friend come and visit, I either have my niece's dog for a little while, and then I'm over it. Or then I see Dawn's videos, and then I'm over it. So there's my green. All right, now, I've got to put some more stuff in the background. But I'm going to go with, um, where's my pink? Here it is. Let's go with some pink here. And I'm using the texture that's with the brush. See how I kind of just use that? Um, use the, the bristles on the brush to just sort of create that type of kind of a, a texture going on. Behind this, behind this, behind here to the behinds. Oh, that's a cute name for a puppy. I have my list of dog names that I keep on hand. Colleen says, my family and I did not watch the whole Irishman movie at one time. We watched a little bit of the movie at a time. I think that's what I'm going to have to do, Colleen. Mary says, it's, it was very long, but I thought the Academy underrated the acting. Really? Interesting. Somebody's alarm is going off right now. Can you hear that, car alarm? You gotta wonder if people even pay attention to that. Okay, now, well, I forgot this one. And then I've got my across the top situation going on here. I've got to pivot my page a little bit. Funny how my dogs are not rocking at all about what's going on out there. I'm going to add some blue on top of this now. This blocker blue. And notice this says real brush pen on these. And that means that the bristle is a real brush. That's why it says that. And then I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. Now, the other thing about these pens is that they blend. So you could actually put two colors on top of one another. Now, if I put this yellow on top of the blue, it is kind of turning a little bit green. Let's add some lime green um, behind here. Still working with that type of texture that's there from the brush itself. Kind of paying attention to these lines that are behind it. The, line, the lines that are behind it are actually in a grayer color. So they're a light gray. Here's another one right here, just kind of a little bit. And then moving on underneath the nose. And then here.
We are not going to stay to say around like this on this color along today. No. Alice, we are not. Alice is Alice is teasing me. When we did the uh um the draw along, we were talking about that. What were we drawing, Alice? Flowers? Is that what we were drawing? And I kept saying around like this. I didn't realize I was saying it that much, Alice. Now I I was starting to feel like, boy, I must really sound like a crazy person now because I keep saying that. It's all in good fun, Alice. At least I made you laugh, right? It's like that song, you spin me round, like a merry-go-round, or is it like a record player or something like that? So we have this color here, this blue, moving on up to here. So it's just kind of given the illusion of tie-dye. I mean, we didn't actually like tie up the page with with rubber bands and tighten it and dip it in dye like you would typically do with tie-dye, but it's just kind of given the illusion of tie-dye. And then let's add um, a little bit of, we could add some purple back there, right? Actually, let's add this, this hot pink color for these kind of doodads, little things right here. Kind of looks like a little bit of an eyeball. And I don't want to go completely in the lines. Oh, this phone, I'll tell you. Between the phone, the beeping. We don't know who this is. Let's let it go to voicemail. Too much noise. How about you guys? All right, so I've got all of that section there. Yeah, we were having fun, Alice. It was fun. It was funny. It was a funny. All right. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of some orange on top of my pink into the little sections just to kind of complete that little uh, tie-dye-ish look to the back. Just like we did to the letters, to the words, and just to kind of uh, complete the tie-dye look. So I'm really kind of am aiming for the white sections of this, you know. Into this area here. And then we're going to move on to another color that I'll put with the um the blue. Let's put some um Let's put some orange with the blue. Scarlet's got something going on over there. Thank you, Diana. Doesn't it look kind of cool? It looks kind of like a tie-dye thing, right? You understand what I'm talking about. I think you're kind of a tie-dye person. Are you a tie-dye person? Person? Persian? Not a person. A person? Ah. <laughs> uh, do you ever just crack yourself up throughout the entire day? I like the way it looks too, Dorn. It's kind of cool, isn't it? You know what? It is, you have to really um, not fill the whole space entirely in order for it to really kind of give that look. Because if you take a look at this, especially these three, three top sections here with the blue, that really, to me, looks like a tie-dye shirt. Like, it just kind of crunched up. Hey, Trish, it's much harder to do with the felt tip ones. You're right, Trish. Thank you. You're reading my mind. Not a good thing, Trish. And then let's add some yellow on top of, um, oh, we've got to put something behind here. So Rolling Stones gather so, gather no moss. What do you think? I, I think this means we've got to kind of like get our bodies moving. You know? Easier said than done, isn't it? Hey, I'm just as lazy as the next person. 
just as lazy as the next person. Like I've got an Amazon delivery coming and I want to know if it was delivered. Don't get up and go look outside. Just track it on your computer and then you can see if they've taken a photo and it's sitting at your door. How lazy is that? Next thing you know, we just need a drone to deliver the product to me inside my house. Does anybody have a drone? I would love to have a drone. Yes, my thought exactly. The felt tips <clears throat> I have are not giving me the tie-dye look at all. Well, if you don't press really hard, they might. You know what I mean? Don't press so, don't put, let me see what I have here. I'm gonna see what I, let me see if I have another one with a felt tip. these Sakura Koi markers. These are really expensive and they're really, really nice. I gotta say. They have a, a felt tip. I'm hobbling. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, they have a felt tip, just like um, Sharon's talking about. And let me show you about these. This is called Koi. I'll put these in my Amazon influencer page, actually. Uh, this is Koi watercolor brush pens. And these do have a felt tip. So you could just kind of use them like that. Just kind of, you know, just kind of right. Like that. But what's cool about these is that um, if you just want to kind of, if you have the felt tip one and you want to just kind of color lightly, see how that's kind of giving that look right there? I'm kind of holding it on its side and just kind of coloring lightly. And then you can go back in. Maybe that wasn't a very good color to use, but then you could go back in. This is a pack of 12 and kind of, the screen is out, so I don't use these. Um, and just kind of hit like this. You know, so just kind of the very light pink. What other color do I have? Orange, my friend. So just kind of light color there. These are really nice. These are um, uh, by Sakura and they're called Koi watercolor brush pens. And this is a 12 pack, but the ink is pigment ink, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's pigment. It's dye based ink, so it's different than the um than the other ones this is a dye based ink so i'm just going to kind of finish this part right here with this one with this sakura one this uh koi marker i had done a giveaway with these a while back I need to get back in touch with them see if they want to do something um but i'll put these in my amazon influencer store i can see where the felt tip might not work you have to be very light you have to color lightly Mary says, when I saw your tie-dye on today's schedule, I was wondering how we were going to do this. This is so cool. Isn't it, Mary? Mary was thinking that, hey, we're going to be really... Are you a child? Are you a hippie, Mary? Are you want a, another hippie that we have in the crowd? I don't know. See, if you just kind of... The other part about these is I've used these so much that some of them are kind of out. But I keep them because if it is really kind of a marker that is kind of running out and it kind of gives you that look to it, that's a perfect opportunity to use something to get this particular technique. Maybe you want to create that texture as the ink is actually kind of running out a little bit. So, um, and then you can kind of, these blend well, so I've got some yellow on top of it. This is These are really, really nice. I just don't use them very often because they are on their way out. They're running out. Um, a little pricey though. I want to say that pack right there is like $17. And then I have these other ones too. These are a Japanese brand, but they're Sakura also. And these are brush like the other ones. These are still brush markers like the new tech ones. I'll put these in my, uh, I'll put a link to these too in my Amazon shop. Um, and these, these have that brush. See, they have the bristles there, just like the other one. Just like the one that we just used. Thanks, Mamie. I think it looks kind of cool too. Definitely um, a fun way to color something. Rather, you don't always have to color something where it's completely filled in, right? You can still color things and give them some texture and let them uh, kind of uh, let the, the texture become part of the design. So where are we at on this? Let's see. We've got this one already completed. This is a complete one right here. Next week. Oh, one of my favorites, Impressionism. 
Next week, we're moving on to the Impressionism style, and we kind of talk about uh, Van Gogh when we work on this type of color along, and we will be using, um, what are we using for this one? Oh, crayons. We're using crayons for this one. Impressionism is all about kind of short strokes, so we'll be using Crayola, which Crayola crayons are in my Amazon uh, storefront. And then the following um, week, we're working on these little snowmen, and we're going to get the stained glass effect, and we'll be using colored pencils with a blending oil. You could use, um, you could use um, olive oil, you could use baby oil, you could use mineral oil, you could use vegetable oil. Uh, just don't use motor oil because just don't just don't use motor oil. But uh, you can use any brand of colored pencils for this. So I, I'll announce what brand I'm using for this. Maybe I'll use Spare Farben because those are really really nice. Hopefully, um, Melly will be able to watch for that one and color because she won those during uh, during uh, coloring camp. So exciting. Uh, May Alice is saying I think I'm a hippie at heart, but I don't. But don't tell my dad. He thinks hippies are bad people. I think I'm a hippie at heart, actually. I, but I'm too young to be a hippie because I wasn't born during the hippie times. If I could have gone to Woodstock, I think I would have. Mary says grew up in hippie generation, but I was an old fashioned girl. My brother was a hippie. He went to Woodstock. I have some really close friends that went to Woodstock. So, um, I just wish I could have. I I think in my you know, I would like to be a hippie. You know. We'll, we'll be hippies together, Alice, secretly. We can have, like, secret hippie, secret hippie day, hippie, uh, uh, like a secret hippie club. Okay, so we are moving on to this one for next week, and then we've got that stained glass to finish out the month of February, and then we'll be moving on to uh, March. Can you even believe it? It feels like 2000, 2020 just started. Okay, join me next Monday for Impressionism. Um, and then I'll see those of you with the draw along, uh, info, uh, draw along group on Wednesday. Hey, thanks, Julie. Good to see you. Okay, my friends. Hey, have a great Monday. Do something fun today. Don't sit still because, you know, Rolling Stones gather no moss. So you want to make sure you keep it moving and I'll see everyone soon. Have a great day, everyone.